it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are building another micro home because I love to build micro homes and the other day I asked on Instagram what I should build in my next stream and by far the most people said build a micro home. I was like okay let's build a micro home. <laughs> so I built this house here over on twitch.tv slash sunnysimsy. If you want to follow me there I stream every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 8 p.m. CET and I would love to see you there. And yeah I built this home here and I think it turned out looking so adorable and just perfect and yeah so it's a micro home which is actually for two sims and yeah the floor plan makes sense there's a bathroom there's a kitchen and there's a living area and a bedroom like there's space for everything and everything like i love this house i think it turned out beautiful and i'm obsessed with this floor plan because it just turned out perfectly i don't know yeah, so we are building in Willow Creek at the moment. It's a 20 by 15 lot and I also, yeah, I wanted to have this house here fit into the whole neighborhood thing here, like the scheme and everything. So I want this whole neighborhood here to be suburban styled because if you don't know, I'm working on a safe file and I really want everything to be like cohesive. So yeah, this house here is also supposed to be more on the suburban side. So I, uh, yeah, I try to make it look suburban. <laughs> and then I was really not sure who's going to live in that house here and yeah, then, I don't know, my chat and I kind of decided to make it for a maker sim, like somebody who's very much living on their own and like producing everything on their own and, and everything like that, you know? <laughs> so we added a lot of items in the backyard. At first it started with the chicken coop because I was like, it's it's kind of cute to have a chicken coop here. And, and so I added that one and then like one thing came to another and then we had some bee boxes and a fitting station and this, this, this meat wall. Do you like, a lot of people don't know that this item exists, <laughs> but it is uh, an item from Eco Lifestyle and it's like synthetic meat. And your sims can do very weird stuff with that. Like they can use it as if it's normal meat, but they can also massage it on this little meat wall thing there and I don't know. A fun thing about it is that vegetarians actually can't eat it because it looks like meat and they were like sims vegetarians like ve vegetarian sims are like it looks too much like real meat so I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> I think that's quite funny and yeah so it's basically just the normal vertical planter from Eco Lifestyle and I'm not quite sure how to get this meat wall there. I'm not 100% sure but um I'm sure somebody in the comments might uh, know that. <laughs> um, yeah, but I just grabbed it up from the gallery. So yeah, that's what I usually do with all my plans. I just save them as a room and just, you know, place them then somewhere. And that's what works for me because I don't play the game. I don't uh, plant all the plants there on my own. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we are working on the backyard now. And yeah this little shed here it took some time until i got it right until i have something that i liked actually but i'm so happy how it looked with the fizzing station there and next to it there's this cow plant which just looks perfect in that area i absolutely love how that turned out and yeah so i hope you also like it um yeah so i'm, I'm very happy with this backyard actually <laughs> even though the whole layout of it took some time to figure out it was a bit difficult but yeah so anyways, we are working on the landscaping now and yeah, it's just a pretty basic landscaping. I would say I do it like I normally do, just adding these base game bushes and adding a bunch of different plants to it. And I used these base game flowers, which are more on the red side, I would say, because they really fitted those window boxes that I used. And I love that, how like cohesive those two items were and just to have some nice yeah, cohesiveness in the house on the exterior, I would say. Yeah, so now I'm just adding a couple of rocks and yeah, that's basically it for the landscaping. I think we will add some kind of trees as well, but yeah, no, first we are gonna change up some floorings and everything. Also adding some lamps and oh, this wall here next to the trash cans. I didn't really know what to do with that because it looked so empty and I don't like empty blank walls. 
I don't know, I'm, I always need to add something there. So I decided to add these flowers and wait, I'm gonna try to pronounce the word because in my last video or like one of my last videos, I asked for people like, how is this item called? How should I pronounce that? And they were actually quite helpful comments. So this, this walk, this plant there, this flower on the wall, the Bougainvillea. <laughs> hope I <laughs> pronounced that right. Yeah, I love to use that item and I use it there on the wall just to cover it up. Yeah, and I'm quite happy how that turned out, just to make it look more detailed and everything. So yeah, now I'm just adding more terrain paint everywhere. Just, yeah, that's what I usually do. And I did not use the stepping stones and I'm so happy about that. <laughs> like I'm so proud of myself because I use them all the time. I use them everywhere. And yeah, so I really tried to not use them here and I think that's, uh, it worked out. I like the terrain paint like this. So yeah, I just, I use them everywhere in every single build recently and I just kind of like, I want to get away from them a bit, a little bit more <laughs> so that I just don't use them everywhere. But anyways, yeah, working on the terrain paint now and I think I'm just gonna add some trees now. Yep trees yay oh and also i grabbed those apple trees from the gallery because i thought that's kind of nice if they if the sims who live here if they make everything on their own i think apple trees are a nice thing as well so that you can have fresh apples each autumn i think do they grow in autumn i guess it depends on where in the world you'll live but i think no I have no idea. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about that because I have no idea about seasonal fruits and vegetables and everything. <laughs> yeah, but we are working on the interior now. So I'm just trying to figure out which wallpaper I want to use. And then we are gonna start with the kitchen. And this kitchen is very small, but it's cute and tiny and everything works. So I'm quite happy how it, how it looks. I'm using the stove and the fridge, which are from Jungle Adventure. And the counters and cabinets are from parenthood yeah just cluttering that up a bit now as for usual <laughs> that's something i always do and of course i need to add this hanging plant because that's an item i use in every single build from now on so uh yeah it's just i love this hanging plant it's from the blooming rooms kit and it's just i'm obsessed with this item <laughs> like i appreciate this item so so much and can we please have more hanging plants in the game like I know this one comes in different swatches and everything, and I I love this item, but can we have more of these, <laughs> please? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, the Blooming Rooms kit is just an amazing kit. I love that one. Yeah, also the new kit came out co comes out today, right? Yeah, the new Creator Sim kit. I'm very interested to see like what other, like how the items really look in the game and everything, because I've seen some things on Twitter, like something got leaked again, like the whole <laughs> items and everything, but I'm interested to see how it looks. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm interested in that So, Yeah, I don't know if you get it and I don't know, tell me what you think about it after you got the kit. <laughs> I would love to know, but also I'm just waiting for some kind of announcement. <laughs> I want to, I want to know what the new gameplay pack is. I want to see items. I want to see stuff. Ah, I'm just so excited about that. And also I'm really hoping for a new world. I just, I would love that. And if we are getting a new world, can the new world please have a good lighting? <laughs> please, <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, but anyways, uh, the kitchen is finished and we are working on the living area right now. So there is a TV and also a couch and yeah, I just, I love how open this whole space here looks. It doesn't really feel that small. It's only 32 tiles, but it's just, it's not as small as you might think it is. <laughs> no, wait, it's, uh, you, you don't think it's that small how it actually is. That's what I was trying to say, yeah. So I'm just cluttering everything up as usual. <laughs> and I even had some space left where I was like, I don't know what to put there. Like next to the TV, I was like, okay, what, what should we put there? And I just decided to add uh, a stereo there. And I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so everything in this house is also play tested. Everything worked. I did have some issues with the bed in the living, not in the living room, with the bed in the bedroom. <laughs> Obviously, where would a bed go uh, otherwise? Like, it's the bedroom. <laughs> um, yeah, because it, it's a very tiny room. It's a three by three room, but I managed it. It worked out in the end. <laughs> um, yeah, because you technically, you can, you can have a bedroom and this small. It, 
it's functional like that. But yeah, I did have to remove this hanging plant there because that was blocking my sim from going there. And also a little trick with the wardrobe. The, the walls there, like the wardrobe is actually not really like, um, wait, how do, how, what, are, what, where was I going with that? So uh, the tiles where the wardrobe is, those are not real tiles. That's why you have some weird outdoor lighting in that closet. But the thing is, I don't think that that big of an issue because it's just then like it's a closet <laughs> yeah and also uh, if you are interested in seeing like like have some tricks and everything on micro homes i do have a tutorial on how to build micro homes so and like how to not stress out with them so there i also tell you about this trick i did there i'm gonna link that here somewhere <laughs> yeah so we are actually at the end of the video now so thank you so so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can find the tray files on my patreon and you can also download this build from the gallery my id is sunny simsy yt so thank you so so much for watching and i hope i will see you all in the next video goodbye